So you join me now for my first 48 hour on Goosedale Fisheries. Goosedale Fisheries, a new syndicate I've joined this year and uh, I wanted to join a new water, kind of get off uh, the local club lake and um, kind of explore what else is around in our local area and um, comparing all the syndicates around and lakes around, this seemed the best for me. I wanted a, a new sort of challenge to kind of get my head into a water and uh, learn a few more things and learn the water from scratch, uh, not knowing much about it. And um, this ticked all the boxes, it's uh, pretty local to me, so um, that was handy. It's only about a 15 20 minute drive, and the stock's absolutely mint in here. It's got some, a big common and a big mirror, so. Um, They'll definitely be target fish this year and um, hopefully I'll have a good year. But um, this is my first session in a while that I've filmed on the channel and um, I've just not really, I've been getting out but I've not uh, filmed much of it because I've been uh, waiting to get a new camera so um, this will be the first probably video you'll see on the channel um, with my new camera um, so hopefully the overall quality of the videos will um, definitely improve and um, I hope you enjoy them a bit more. Um, I've been getting out um, to a few locations which I'll tell you about now and um, kind of catch up with you and uh, we'll get into the um, session and see what happens in the 48 hour. on the best brew in the world. That's what I like. Yeah. Get the fucking biscuits on. Fuck too fat. Leave them in. Cow drops on. been going a few places I did a bit over the winter I didn't do as much as I would like to do but I still got out on the bank and everything um, our first kind of location I hit over the winter was a local farm pond um, not far from me uh, it's a place to go every winter with a few mates and uh, we do half a season on there it's um, cheap as chips and yeah we uh, have a few bites normally and uh, so we did a few weekends on there um, doing the odd kind of day session it's only day, day sessions only so we um, yeah, it's nice to get a few bites um, and a few runs, so I um, had a few fish there and um, I didn't get down the local pot lake this winter really. Um, I've done a few few, um, few day sessions sorry, on there and um, a couple of hours, but nothing to, um, saw nothing or nothing to report, I didn't catch anything and um, just not really fished this well, um, fished very well this winter, sorry. Um, the local, as of the local club lake, i um, done a few nights on there. Um, and I did quite well actually. Um, a few weekends ago, uh, I had, I think I was on Chestnut, and um, I had three bites. Um, one was a double take, so I had one at night and two in the morning um, off a rod that was just flicked a quarter of the way out, um, and that produced me two bites, so I was happy with that. The next week, I came down again, and I um, fished on the around the other side of the lake on the public side, and. Um, I had a sm smallish common there, not very big, kind of nine, ten pounds, but I was happy to have a bite in the winter. Um, I had a little social with a few of the lads down the lake, so um, yeah, things were all good down there. And the weekend after I hit it again, and I um, caught again, and I had, I believe, I had two. Yeah, I uh, managed to winkle out two, so I was happy with that result, and um, it was worth getting out in the end. Uh, that kind of brings us up to about now, um, I didn't do much fishing after that, that's the uh, probably the most recent place I've been to and yeah um, I've decided to buy the ticket on here so we're starting from now and um, we will be doing the syndicate series. It seems now that I don't only have one hand, but two things.
wondering what's happening. What you mate? Syndicate's an absolutely amazing run place by Carl Bailiff on here and um, he does an amazing job and he's done such what an amazing job he's done so far. He's um all the pegs are named, they've all got bark swims, they've all got places to hang your stuff up, put your retainer slings on when you've got a fish, and they're absolutely well kept place, you can drive all the way around it. And um, yeah, it's just a beautiful lake, dead mature, and you've got this absolutely amazing cabin that I'm in now. He built it himself and it's got amazing things in it. You've got a big table here for brews, it could be the best thing for socials. You've got an open fire over there for the winter, so it's going to make an amazing winter social cabin. It's all carpy, everything carpy's in it. Places to charge your phone, you've got pictures of the fish in here, and the fish in here are absolutely amazing, next to none. Some big, nice fish in here, so uh, hopefully we're going to have them this year. But there's a dartboard, there's all sorts. Um, amazing place to just come sit with the lads on here and uh, I can't wait to do a few sessions in here you can either do a session on the on the outside on the beach sorry um, on the peg the grass peg out there and with a few mates you could double up or anything or you can come in here and have a social sort of thing whatever the weather come in here and you can also dry your clothes out over the fire if you get it really wet and cold so it's an amazing little place amazing little thing that Carl's done and it's an amazing lake overall so I can't wait to do a few sessions in here. As I was saying before I got interrupted by the rain, I think I was talking about this morning, I got up at first light, didn't see anything show, and um, I thought pretty much sat around all day, seeing if I can see anything, keeping the eyes peeled, and nothing has shown. Not a single carp other than, well, in my sort of swim and area, I've seen, me and Ben have actually seen one down on the deeper end of the lake where he's fishing now, so he's jumped in there and um, it's looking prime do I say down that end of the lake um, he's got these on the back of the wind um, it's pretty much a south westerly south south westerly coming across here which is a prevailing wind normally on this lake so um, yeah he's looking good where he is I'm hoping for a bite I've got my rod sorted now as I explained in the last clip um, about where I've got him but yeah um, first session on the syndicate we'll see um, see how it goes and um, I'll definitely as normal I'll update you um, if we get anything and fingers crossed we do so um, yeah <coughs> right then we're nearly coming to the end of the 48 hour I'm going home this afternoon so we get packed up about 12 o'clock yeah um, to be honest with you no one's caught on the lake tonight. There was only two come out. I oh, know, sorry. Uh, two came out of one swim uh, called Steps. Um, another two came out uh, from a swim called Vans, where Ben jumped in last night. But as I know of yet, yeah, I've not walked around uh, the lake. <coughs> but I don't believe anyone's had anything, so it's just looking bleak. It's one of those. So um, I've tried as hard as I can for a bite, definitely. I've been uh, wagging trolleys around, roving them about, see if I can find them, watching to see if I can see them, standing down on my peg, everything I could do with my hands, but um, it's just not happened, so hopefully next time we'll have one. But we're just going to wait till next time and see what the next session brings, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll bag one next time. What's that, Cam? Get that on your porn channel. What, you do not touch it? Oh, I will. You can actually do stuff like that. Not porn. Like, film bits of like the slave and stuff like that. Why are you on it? I'm doing that, mate. You're filming you having a piss. Why, you're trying to tell me I'm filming porn. What's <laughs> that about then? Oh, you twat. After that last clip you've just seen, I've up sticks and moved around to a swim called the beach. It's a big double swim, and you've got two parts to it, the left and right. A big open swim so you can see a lot of water and I've put three chods out again, scattered across the lake bed. And I'm hoping for a bite, I've not got long, I've only got an hour, about an hour left now uh, after moving around here and say so it does look kind of good. 
the prevailing winds have switched and gone the other way, so um, fingers crossed like, but I've not got long as I said, I've got to pack up and go, so I've just moved into here for a bit, and um, sit down with the brew, and yeah, I'm just going to chill out, get some of the gear sorted and get ready to go.